Welcome to NGS, where we dive into my hobbies, such as playing cards. And today is the first Wednesday of the month. Happy Wednesday. And not only is it the first Wednesday of the month, but that also implies that it is the Dawn Select. Which is the series where B. Don the Magician, this guy right here, my, my, my camera keeps shaking, I'm sorry. This guy right here sends me, I had to fix some, the, the stand, sorry. Where this guy right here sends me a random deck of his choice and I open it, react to it, and do a quick, you know, hands-on review and first impression. Be sure to leave a like if this is the kind of content that you enjoy. Uh, I'm really excited about this one in particular because I actually may or may not have saw a little sneak peek of what I'm getting. So that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. I apologize for the echo. I'm in the process of rearranging my studio. No, it opens like this. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, gold and white. Now that is beautiful. I'm trying to get the light here so you can see how beautiful this is. Oh man, I don't want to open this now, but I, I have to. That's part of the deal here. Oh man. So right off the bat, this is a split spade deck. Split spade, split split, 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 she sells seashells by the seashore. This is the split spade deck by David Blaine. I'm sure you've heard of him. He is a very famous mu uh, musician, very famous magician. And this is the split spades deck, the gold edition, as you can see right there with the gold back. And I'm hoping, I'm anticipating that the cards are foiled on the back. Only one way to find out. And I think the way to do that is by obviously <laughs> cutting into these boys, bad boys right here. What? Huh? Uh, that's the first time I've done that and the bottom came out before the top. That <laughs> weird. All right, so let me just go ahead and explain what I'm seeing as I'm seeing it. Right here we have the front of the tuck case, which has the David Blaine DB split spade. If you didn't know the D and the B, come together and make a spade. That's kind of the whole thing with his logo. And I'm super jealous of this logo. We have playing cards written right here on this little banner that runs through the split spade. Then we have this golden outline, like th the whole thing's being framed by a golden outline that looks like a, a branch, but I'm pretty sure it's more banners coming up. We have here a lion on the top that is in front of this very nice foiled, like light and yes everything that you see here that is dark is gold and foiled if we look on the side here we have official split spades playing cards on this side we have the united states playing card company and both of them are framed by a banner with golden lines and yes these are also foiled see on the bottom we have distributed by split spades new york new york and on the top we have split spades which upside down says super uh stitties sitted sighted sitteds uh, i feel like it's supposed to say something like super sitteds super sitteds anyway let's go ahead and crack into these bad boys i know that's what you're waiting for here on the tab here we have the eagle with an eight of diamonds reveal right there it's nice and on the inside we have another reveal with a nine of hearts embossed speaking of embossing the spade is embossed and the lion is embossed i don't know why i didn't mention that before i'm a little too excited for this and then the spades on the back here are also embossed and it is all foiled gold i assume this is the back of the card so i'm just going to show that to you as i look at the buttes that are this deck the butte that is this deck here is the iconic split spades back it's gonna be hard to really show you on camera maybe if I just show it in the dark side but all right so we have the David Blaine spade the split spade where you know the namesake comes from and inside of the spade we have here a like a leaf vine work on this bottom part but on the top we have a snake and he's sticking his tongue out uh, on the top 
corners we have an angel it's kind of reminiscent of like the rider back angel but it has a dress we have a crescent moon here we have an eagle here and then we have a lion here and the angel is stabbing the spade with a sword and i think that's pretty much all of the main key points here um yeah i've actually never had one of these decks before so this is my first time seeing the back so if i miss anything please let me know down in the comments i'm sure b don will oh man super springy you'll love to see it it's hard to do it on camera I'm, i swear i can fan but yeah um these feel nice even on account of them being foiled usually foiled cards that have the you know that are really foiled on the back it, the foil creates friction and it makes them less smooth but you really cannot tell in the handling of this deck right here so to the faces we have here a frog that is stitching I, I i don't know what he's stitching but it might be the card and he also has a little fish friend underneath him this is metallic ink by the way and I'm pretty sure the frog is a reference to the frog trick that David Blaine does where he like regurgitates a frog out of his stomach and then swallows the frog back in. And I mean, in that case, this could also be a reference to the trick where David Blaine sews his mouth shut and then the spectator's card appears in there. The next one is two angels that are standing on a split spade card and they are holding up the sands of time. That's pretty cool also. Here is the Ace of Spades. It is a naked woman whose hair is flowing up and it looks like there is vines. And it looks like there are vines wrapping around her. And she has like, uh, I, I assume the sun, but a source of light just emitting out from behind her. And all of that is framed inside this giant golden spade. And then we have here, of course, the normal default bicycle pips and font. And of course, you also have the default bicycle court cards. Unless, of course, he changed the, uh, I think it's the king of clubs that he changes to himself. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll find out as we get there. This queen of spades also has a three of clubs reveal. She's holding the card. And we have a different queen here. Probably a cohort or adversary of David Blaine. And we have the same thing with the jack. Probably someone he knows or a friend. Again, with the jack of clubs the king of hearts for some reason the jack of diamonds is always left out and always stays the same i'm sure there's a reason for that that i just don't know there we go king of spades that's who david blaine becomes that's right that's david blaine and yes where the yellow would normally be is metallic ink so it's gold baby And then we have here a split spade cut card or joker and a king of spades duplicate that has at David Blaine written along the banner. So if we have us a look at the king of spades also here, it is a duplicate king of spades, but it also says davidblaine.com along the banner that he is wearing. And the sword that you would normally see a line through on the King of Spade is also missing. I'm sure there is a trick that correlates with this, but I am not too sure. Nonetheless, a duplicate is a duplicate. But I am very excited about this deck here. I'm a little iffy about using it or messing around with it, but I am sure I will. But I will say, this is definitely an upgrade, and B Don has made up for the previous deck that he sent me. I'm sure you've seen the video with the doo doo deck, a triple D, if you will. But anyway, let's go ahead and see what this looks like with a black light. All right, so unfortunately, the deck does not glow. Not the backs and not the fronts, unfortunately, but the tuck case, it's hard to tell on camera, but the tuck case is glowing like a lot. 
the entire tuck case. And that is the gold edition of the Split Spades playing cards. In all honesty, this gold deck right here is probably my favorite deck so far from B Dawn. So again, I would like to thank B-Don for sending this out, and I would also appreciate it if you went and subscribed to B-Don the Magician as well. If you like my content, you will probably also like his. He also does playing card reviews and does a lot more magic tutorials showing you how to do some illusions and magic tricks. I've learned a few from him myself, so go and do that if you haven't already. I will link these down in the description if I can find them. If not, you're on your own. But, good luck hunting, and I cannot wait to see you right or back in the next video. You're dealing with the ghost. We are spitting facts, so don't mistake it with the boast. Looking for a lethal injection, we got the dose. We are giving the chills from your head down to your toes. You're trying to touch us, but you're dealing with the ghost.